Welcome back everyone to Wonderland Explorers. Today takes us to Disney Springs, specifically the Boathouse, where we're gonna have a delicious lunch. Take in the beautiful atmosphere. It is a gorgeous day here in Central Florida. The weather is perfect. What better way than to spend it dockside, <laughs> getting some tasty treats, checking out some holiday merch, maybe even some more decorations. Come along with us as we explore. Don't tip the deck over. So this is a lot of fun sitting out here. It's really relaxing. We were both saying that it kind of reminds us of being at the beach. So all the deck seating that's out here on this like little pier is all open seating. So you don't need to have a boathouse reservation in order to sit here, which I think is pretty nice because it's sometimes it's kind of hard depending on the time of year to get a spot in there. So you have access to the same menu. You can just come, the seat's open, you can take it. And that includes like up at the bar out here and then also all out there around all the antique boats. You can sit anywhere, it's all open seating. So we each decided to get a local craft beer to enjoy. I got the Sunrise City IPA. It's from Fort Pierce, Florida. It's very light. It's very refreshing. I'm really enjoying this. I love how it's orange too, like Florida orange. Yeah, it's, it's super tasty. So we did feel like we were at the beach here. So of course I went with the Beach Hippie IPA. It's also a beautiful color. Condensation on the glass. Don't you wish you could just come in and have a here? I'll give you a sip. <laughs> no, it's very refreshing. It's good. It does have like a little bitterness at the end, but I kind of enjoy that. Not too bitter though. I would. I like this. I've got it before. I give it a five out of five. We came here to try some delicious filet mignon sliders. I've heard great things about them. My parents specifically like these. They come here whenever they're in town and they always get the filet mignon sliders. And they have told us for like years, we have to come here, we have to get the filet mignon sliders. So, we're here, we're gonna try them, <laughs> finally. Even when we made the order, we were like, we're gonna have two orders of your filet mignon sliders. Our waiter was even like, oh yeah, you're gonna love them. They like melt in your mouth and then they have like a butter sauce on top. He was making me even more hungry for these things. So I cannot wait till they come to our table. We're gonna have to watch out though. I feel like these birds behind us might still a fry. And besides this beautiful view, look at this wonderful dockside view we have. Is this not pretty or what? All those antique boats out there. Saratoga Springs Resort off in the distance. It's really just, just a gorgeous place to come and grab a, uh, a bite to eat. And here they are. Look at these sliders. Oh my goodness. A little filet mignon on there, a little butter, some fries. Oh boy, excited to try this. So I wanted to try these fries first because they look really good. I think they're like, they're hand cut fries. But they're like the perfect size too. They're kind of small, like a little crinkly. They're really good seasoning. They're fantastic. I love this. All right. Let's try that filet slider. So on the inside, you got like a little butter. They got some seasoning on there. Let's try this out. Oh my God. There's not much to say. My, my only complaint is I don't have more of these. These are so good. The waiter was right, they like melt in your mouth. These things are fantastic. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for you to try these. They smell so good as well. So just to show you the difference on the insides. Mmm, yeah. That butter sauce is so good. The bread is warm. Mm. And those little filet mignons are packed full of flavor. They do, they melt in their mouth. Like, look how juicy they are. Mm. 
Yes. Five out of five. I agree. I, I, I agree too. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, like in the, it just is dripping with juicy goodness. Yeah, I see why all the birds are here. finished lunch we decided to stop down and check out some of these old boats a lot of these are from the 50s and uh, early 60s this one right here it just definitely looks like the cars of that period check out these fins looks like something you'd see on either like a, a Cadillac or even a Lincoln beautiful Chris Craft boat wow look at that I like the name of it imagination is king in the house of mouse yes it is believe it or not I think this might be my favorite boat here it's called a redfish and it just looks like a 55 or 56 you know 56 57 chevy you have the little like top here it's two-tone the color is definitely a 50s color it's almost like the uh the gm cascade green that they used uh in 50 56 even the old engine too i like how everything is just color matched all the way down to the seats just this, this is a really really cool little boat to show you guys again all of this is open seating so you can sit amongst all these beautiful antique boats and even out there on that sort of you know pier where that bar is so all of this anytime if it's open you can come out grab a seat no reservations required just outside the boathouse there is the amphi car ride and launch this is a fun little activity that you can do it is kind of on the expensive side but if you're eating at the boathouse you do get a discount so i believe it's like 125 uh for the car and then if you eat at the boathouse it's about 25 dollars off so it's a hundred dollars for the ride uh, but they do take you around uh, the lagoon out there that we just were looking at at our dockside seating but what a fun little car and the, again these are all original they, they curate these cars and i believe this is the largest collection of these cars in a single place in the world is right here at disney springs right here it looks like the uh, the exact model is called a model 770 amphi car they were built in germany from 61 to 68 uh 3046 were imported to the united states so not a lot i can tell you there are probably not many actually survived so again it's a sort of a remnant of years past stop back one day and try that empty car experience because it looks like it'd be a lot of fun we just haven't we haven't tried it yet we can tell all the people that do it they just absolutely love it so one of these days we'll come back and and check out that ride wow that was an absolutely delicious lunch and i think now we need to have a little bit of a dessert maybe something of also a breakfast like variety i don't know so we've heard that Everglazed has actually added a whole Christmas holiday line of donuts to yeah. their menu. So we're gonna prance our little happy feet over there and try some out. Okay, Kyle, got one for you. What's that? What do you do with a sick boat? What's that? Take it to the dock. There's a lot of beautiful Christmas donuts in there. Arriving here at Everglaze Donuts, I can tell you that there are plenty of Christmas donut options to choose from. The hardest part is going to be which ones that we get. I can tell the holiday flavored donuts are very, very popular. Look at the racks, they're starting to go quick. There's six options. I'll be curious what each flavor is like. Once we get up here, I'm going to ask because I. I Man, these are really pretty, but you know, are they peppermint, cinnamon? I'll be curious. Yeah, vanilla buttercream. All of these are vanilla icing. This one's strawberry jelly in the middle. And that one's are just like uh, chocolate sprinkles, vanilla and sprinkles. Mm. It's 
So who did you go with? I went with a holly donut. Somebody's already taken a bite out of it. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's me. So it's pretty much just a donut with vanilla topping and just a little bit of sprinkles, which I like that part. And a cute little holly. Ah, this is good. Mm, look at that dough, like it just is slowly rising. Mm. Oh, man. So I went with the uh, Christmas wreath. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree. I'm going to say Christmas wreath yeah. donut. It's just a regular glazed donut with icing on it, some sprinkles and whatnot. Look, look at how I can't, <laughs> I can't make a big bite. Like it's just. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful. Ooh, little donut. snowman. Yeah, the toppings are really mm, precious. Cute. They did like a really cool job with these donuts. This is so good. Their donuts are sweet, this. so like I'm actually this. glad that they just did like the classic donut with some frosting. And if it's yeah. too much, you can always scrape the frosting this, off. This you know? is sweet, but like, I'm not like a huge, like sweet, sweet kind of fan. Like you know that about mm -hmm. me. Like sherbets and stuff like that is like, mm. this is like, it's sweet, but it's like sweet enough. It's really good, man. I love this. <laughs> Referring to like sherbet and Christmas treats and traditions. Yep. In our family, my mom, she always made uh, sherbet, and then you put a little bit of uh, ginger ale on top. Well, one of the first Christmases for us together, my mom made got one. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's because like, it's like lime green sherbet. It's so festive. But he was like, he took a big swig and was like, woo. <laughs> he was so sweet, but he's like, I can feel the cavities coming on right now. <laughs> I'll be kind of curious. We are like always try and trying to do a new Christmas like recipes and cookies and things. So yeah. if you guys have any cool drinks that you do with your family or recipes, we'd love to know. Like, what yeah. do you guys do? Yeah, send them to us. Well, we'd like to try them out. There's a little downfall to the green it, donut. Go ahead and stick out your tongue. Is it that bad? Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Do I still got it all over my mouth? No, oh, you're okay. good. You're all good. Right. So the all green right, right. icing is does stain your mouth a little bit. It's it's very sticky. <laughs> but delicious. Just checking out the uh, hot air balloon here. One of these days I think we're going to do this. We have, we have never done it. Always wanted to go on it. I, I, this used to be in Pigeon Forge too in Tennessee and we never did it there. Just one of these days. One of these days. Well, everyone, I think that does it here for Disney Springs. Yeah, we had a fun time checking out the boathouse for the first time, trying those filet mignon sliders. Ooh, they were delicious. They were, they were absolutely fantastic. If you haven't tried them, definitely go check them out. And I think they're pretty affordable, too. Yeah. For like a, a place that has entrees that are pretty pricey, like that's, it was only like 14 bucks for a plate of sliders, which is And you get like pretty a good. pretty big chunk, good chunk of a filet mignon as you well. Do. I mean, it was that thick and about that wide. So put yeah. it together, you get a real filet mignon, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we got to try the new Christmas donuts at Everglaze. Those They're were fantastic so too. Pretty. They're yeah. So pretty. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. It was a great afternoon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, friends. Bye. bye. You ever heard the saying, teach man to fish and he'll eat all day? Yeah. Well, have you ever heard the one, teach man to fish and he'll sit on a boat and drink beer all day? <laughs> Kyle. What? I got a joke for you. What's that? What kind of vegetable is not allowed on a boat? What kind of vegetable is not allowed on a boat? A leek. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh.